Yes. <laughs> I just thought I'd look at the letter P. Oh, Poland, one of my favorite nations. <laughs> You know I'm Polish, and there seem to be um. Well, I am Polish, and one of the things that I'm really attracted to Poland food. You know, my grandfather died a long time ago, Edward Budnick. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, my father showed me an actual copy of his death certificate, and when he died, it said he was black Polish. Yes, possibly a gypsy from Poland. Now, this was the first partition in 1772. Yes, mm -hmm. Perugia was right there. <laughs> and then the second partition in 1793. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Third partition, Ooh, mm, Austria. Ooh. <laughs> and then 1945, at the end of World War II, this was how big Poland was, right next to Russia. <laughs> Czechoslovakia, East Germany. <laughs> Now, um, Poland in 1918? Yes. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to know in Poland. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because um, I, 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 well, see, I have this. Oh, my golly, there's a polar bear right there. Oh, little tiny polar bear babies. Yes. I thought it was a discriminatory way to describe my grandfather as being black Polish. <laughs> Obviously, a lot of people would say, I look black, but I'm white. Pooch, Caucasian. Yes. I have a large nose and large lips and other large attributes about myself. <laughs> Those in Poland, <laughs> well, <laughs> it's quite the place. I've been wanting to go there. <laughs> now, it's right here. Yes, it is. <laughs> Way of life, housing, food, education, <laughs> politics. <laughs> Why don't you get me the nation of Poland? <laughs> I thought I was uh, going to have some property there. Now, having a grandfather. Yes. There is no possible way that you're obstructing me to any actual property outside of the United States, is there? Because when I get to sue in the United States Navy and Army for not defending the actual treaties of this nation... <laughs> I'm going to want to know, <laughs> outside of that little place in Yuma, Arizona, where <laughs> my grandfather had a, sh a shack type of house, but had a direct uh, access to the aquifer of, <laughs> of the water of the United States, <laughs> am I actually owed any property outside of the United States? No. <laughs> I mentioned the inheritance of Elmer and Berna. <laughs> <laughs> that possibly my relatives didn't know. <laughs> then there's my biological father, Arp. <laughs> then there was Edward Budnick, that I wasn't given notice of his death. Yes. <laughs> then there was Eunice Condit. Did uh, Chuck and Eunice own anything that I don't know about? <laughs> And then, um, let's see, there was another, there was Clara and Ed, yes, <laughs> Edward, <laughs> and then there was Eunice and Chuck Condit that worked at Boeing for 38 years, <laughs> I noticed one of the CEOs had the last name Condit, yes, <laughs> did my grandfather have any stock that my grandmother never needed to sell, considering <laughs> she resided at the same place for the last 48 or 40 years before her death, <laughs> Or somebody sold it, and I still haven't seen the probate of her estate. <laughs> Is there some... <coughs> I haven't seen her estate probated on any website. Yes. <coughs> now, I thought she lived in, in Pierce County, and I've searched for her name a number of times on the actual... Uh, 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 some reason why... You know, usually there has to be a, a, a notice to creditors. <clears throat> I consider myself a creditor to my grandmother. Yes. Uh, is anybody in the state of Washington? <coughs> now, um, I just wanted to know, do you know of anything that I own that I'm being obstructed from having control of? <coughs> 
Oh, I accidentally. Do, do you know of anything, uh -huh. Sheriff? <laughs> this whole obstructing of my rights to have actual ownership. Oh, look at this. Oh. How plastic resins are made. Oh, plastic resin made primarily for chemicals come from petroleum. It's diagram shows. Okay. <laughs> Polyurethane production begins in an oil refinery. Crude oil is distilled and then cracked mm -hmm. to separate in various parts. <laughs> Ball some sort of heat. <coughs> now, uh, exactly how much heat is necessary to make plastics? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then uh, there are the ethylene uh, gas polymers. There's a solvent and catalyst. Yes, polymers, solvent, and polymers. And then they screwed in screw. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, uh. Now, uh, should, should I... <coughs> Should I consider uh, getting involved in plastics manufacturing? <laughs> could you could you just find out who it is that's making all the plastics? <laughs> you know this whole thought of lightweight plastics are using the holes of boats. Yes, mm -hmm. plastic fibers. Look at they're in a the bed. <laughs> then there's plastic bags. Yes, plastic bottles. Yes, mm -hmm. plastic containers. Yes. <laughs> Now, um, exactly how much heat does it take? Because when I have a HHO gas technology, yes. <laughs> Should I be making uh, water bottles? <laughs> now, making something... <clears throat> it could be a multi, multi, multi hundred million. <laughs> The invention of celluloid? Yes. And the virgin plate. Why don't we find out exactly where they're getting their heat from in the plastic industry? <laughs> could you get me all of those that are in plastic manufacturing? <laughs> I could make some improvements that could make me a multi, multi, multi hundred billionaire. Pooch. Considering the number of water bottles. Yeah. <laughs> Milk jugs. <laughs> Why don't you get me the plastics industry? <laughs> the actual owners, Koch brothers, <laughs> got you by the Koch. <laughs> and uh, exactly what uh, monopolies there are in the manufacturing of plastics. <laughs> Why didn't you give me that? Can you give me that? <laughs>